Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420, and today we're gonna check out this Grease Monkey by Kush Valley. So, let's hop right into it. And Delta, the way they have it labeled is Delta 9 THCA, which is just THCA, is 80.44%. THC comes in at 5.44%, with the total THC coming in at 75.99. Now, if you don't understand why there's three different percentages for THC, then there is going to be a video linked at the bottom of this towards the end that kind of explains that and goes over like why those are important to know and it'll help you figure these out. Um, so if you're interested in that at all, go ahead and check that out. Uh, the other thing that these guys do include is the terpenes that they have and um, if you guys don't know this yet I also have a list of the top 10 like uh, terpenes and then I have a short description I don't go into very much detail but just you know the the basic bullet point of what you know each one of these does if you're interested in that uh, it's not mandatory to know it but if you're somebody like me then um, you definitely like to know what these all do um, just because it kind of like being able to read these gives you slightly You know gives you somewhat of an idea of what this might you know do in your body um, And yeah, and this is what it looks like inside of the package their packaging is really cool Like it just looks like this neat little like oil thing <laughs> That's hidden so we're gonna go ahead and pop it open I'm trying, this is a lot easier to do. Ooh, this is cool. So it says, uh, soil to oil is Kush Valley's signature process of growing flour with the intention of producing only the highest quality hydrocarbon BHO plus PHO oil. And if you guys don't know, PHO is propane. Uh, all right, so this is what it looks like. And all you do is you just rip that thing off right there and go ahead and take that out. That was nice and easy to take off. This looks amazing. Now again, the strain is called Grease Monkey. And look at just the terpiness. You can see how tasty this is gonna be. All that shininess, all that like what seems like liquid is just terpenes, which is the cannabis-like word for flavor. Oh man, and this is a complex smell, so. Okay, <laughs> and. I'm gonna try to go through these right here because you can smell the mercerin, which is the earthiness. You can smell the pinene, which is the pininess. And you can smell the linalool, or maybe not the linalool. I don't know exactly. I can't remember off the top of my head, so I don't wanna talk out of my ass here. Um, but you definitely smell earthiness, a little bit of pininess, and then a tiny little bit of like floweriness towards like the, 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 the final like inhale of that sniff oh man this this just has such a crazy smell i'm excited to try it and with that i'll be back with you guys in a couple of days to let you know how this went hey guys what's up so i went ahead and tried that grease monkey and it was really really unique it tastes uh the taste was diesel with a little bit of earthiness mixed in um and then that that taste kind of hangs out in your chest for a, a good minute and a half to two minutes after you're done with your dab um, so all around great flavor uh, and then uh, as far as the high this is an excellent another like really good good uh, example of why I do my channel the way I do it uh, this thing starts off as a sativa with a nice euphoric uplifting um, almost energetic like high and then <laughs> about at the half or not the halfway point about an hour and a half to two hours in you're gonna start to get some of that sativa or the indica effects where you go you know you go from having you know all this energy and stuff and you get really really tired I would compare this almost to an edible high um, if you guys have ever had edibles you know that at first you start off kind of euphoric a little bit giggly um, and then all of a sudden like 15 20 minutes into that high you start to get a little bit tired you get the eyes um, the dust behind the eyes effect where you get like you know a little bit your eyes will start to get a little bit weaker you want to fall asleep um, that's kind of what happens after the well not kind of that's exactly what happens at the you know hour and a half to two hour mark um, and then that just continues to get you know you get more and more sedated as <laughs> you know the high continues um, so for me this was an excellent choice I, I personally uh, what this allowed me to do is like you know you dab about eight o'clock um so you enjoy it for the good hour you're watching tv hanging out with you know your girlfriend or whatever and then 
uh, right about the hour and a half. So once it's like 9 30, 10 o'clock, um, you start to get tired, you go to bed and boom, you stay asleep. So uh, all around a great product. I personally think we're going to keep this like in rotation as much as we can. Um, and with that, I, I, I encourage you guys to go check it out and let me know what you guys think. If you guys have tried this, let me know if you guys agree with like some of the things that I've said. And then uh, if you haven't hit that sub button, I encourage you guys to do so. I'm this close. I only need 25 more subs until I get uh, a custom URL. So then it'll be like youtube.com forward slash recreational 420 versus blah, 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 blah <laughs> whatever it is right now. Um, so if you guys are watching and you enjoy it, again, hit that sub button. I really appreciate it. Um, and with that, I'll be back again with you guys soon.